Hello there. This time I'm going to show you the latest uh, project I've been towing around using a Siemens uh, S7-1200 PLC connected to my laptop using Profinet and running to your portal version 12 basic and as many of, or, of my other projects I've connected my incremental encoder from Hidden Hind, my little uh, quadrature decoder circuit so this converts uh, quadrature pulses into up and down pulses and then I just have a little solderless board to couple the uh, 5 volts that I use on this little uh, circuit board to the 12 volts that this PLC uses and a little push button that serves as a reset for the counter. So uh, this PLC has uh, hardware high-speed counters so you can use that directly without the uh, quadrature decoder circuit that I have uh, and use the hardware built in so you can set up your counter as a frequency counter or a uh, it's called single phase counter you can use it as a mul double phase or multi phase counter which is the setting I'm using right now or you can use a say quadrature uh, counter for uh, incremental encoders but since I already have that in hardware here I set up this as a uh, multi-phase counter very simple all you gotta do is do some hardware configuration on the PLC set that uh, enable high-speed counter in this case I'm using one this PLC has six counters they can count up speeds up to 100,000 Hertz so that's that's pretty good for um, some um, not so demanding applications in automation like uh, measuring the speed of a uh, conveyor belt precisely or an axis whatever or on a crane or a gantry that's pretty handy uh, for like I said not so demanding applications and all you have to do is include this little function called that is uh, labeled control high-speed counter and just set here the uh, which counter you're going to be using I'm using one and this counter uses input uh, zero uh, as the uh, up input one as the down pulse uh, input uh, four I mean three as the reset and the value from this counter is stored into um, digital input I mean uh, the data block into um, digital sorry uh, into uh, double word 1000 which is obviously uh, four subsequent bytes so those are uh, measured from 1000, 1001, 1002, 1003 so those four bytes uh, are transferred from this double word into uh, this other double word here that I created using data block one and I label that as high speed counter one value so right now it's uh, on minus 163 if I press reset here it will reset it and I can uh, count up or down here on the shaft of the rotor encoder I can go plus I can go minus So if I align the reference mark precisely where uh, the shaft and 
this little indentation here, that's the, the zero mark reference in, well, really I can do it anywhere around the privacy of uh, the shaft. But let's just use that as a reference. I press reset here, and that will reset the counting value there. And I can rotate the shaft about one turn here. I'm gonna do it, it's precisely one count. Trying to look not through the uh, uh, the, the cell phone because it's really hard to see the indentation. I'm trying to precisely uh, set it around one turn here. So you guys can see there's about 25 um, hundred counts plus minus because I'm really not doing it right but this counter, this encoder I mean has about uh, 25 uh, pulses per revolution so a revolution counts 2500 I can press reset or I could use the reset or one uh, the zeroing mark which is which occurs is precisely when the shaft aligns with that mark to reset that I can use this but um, I just wanted to you know play around with the PLC for a while uh, the idea is to explore more on um, the TL portal and the PLC programming you know because I got used to using step 7 manager but that is already a thing of the past it's still in use but TR Portal, it's the new uh, product from Siemens Automation. So we better get used to it because it's going to be like, you know, the common product nowadays. Days. So uh, it's a simple program, just two networks, a little hardware configuration, some wiring, and that's all. Well, let's, next step is to create a little HMI using Visual C Sharp. But I got to download uh, Visual Studio 2013, which is um, I have not downloaded yet, to create a little fancy HMI uh, for this application. Um, well, that's another video on my auto schooling series. Thank you for watching, and please comment below. And that's all for now.